Hi guys and welcome to Curious Life. It's been a week so far of following the fly lady, so we're going to find out how it's going and show you our morning and evening routines. Well, to start with, we get up at 5.30 on a weekday, so our morning routine starts early. But this means we can get the morning routine done, get some exercise and Blaze can get to work on time. And that leaves me the rest of the day free to do everything else. After getting home from the gym, the morning feels a bit like a whirlwind of tasks because the fly lady system has a lot of things to get done in the morning. I like to get the dog walked first thing because once I get home and get started on my day, I really struggle to find the motivation to go back outside. Laura loves her morning walks and I quite like the peace and the time to myself too. When we get home, I focus on feeding the dog and the cat before getting a couple of tasks done. The first is a swish and swipe of the bathroom, which is one of the things that Fly Lady swears by. The idea is that if you give the bathroom a quick wipe and toilet brush the toilet daily, your bathroom is always clean without needing to put in too much effort. Not needing to put in too much effort is definitely something that I'm a big fan of. Next, I head back downstairs and empty the dishwasher. I found this one is pretty fundamental to making sure the rest of the day runs smoothly. This is because if it's empty, we can put our dirty dishes right in straight after using them. This helps keep the kitchen tidy all day and stops us ending up with an overwhelming amount of dishes to deal with. The final cleaning task is to start a load of laundry. Most cleaning systems seem to encourage you to do a load of laundry every day to stop it piling up. The fly lady is no different. We don't actually need to do laundry daily, but it is good to have a reminder to check and see if any needs doing. The final task of the morning is to have breakfast and check your planner and see what the day has in store. I really like this part of the routine because it gives you a little time to reflect, plan and chill out after a busy morning and just get yourself ready for the rest of the day. So the morning routine does take quite a lot of time. We start at 5.30 and I'm usually eating breakfast by about 9am. But this does include about an hour and a half at the gym, showering and getting ready. So it isn't too bad and it means you have achieved quite a lot before 9 which gives me an entire day to get on with the rest of the cleaning routine. So let's move into the nighttime routine. The main idea of the night routine is to make sure that the following morning and the following day is as easy as possible. Because we have such an early start, we actually start preparing for bed pretty early. At 8.30, we turn off the TV and start the night routine. The first thing we do is a quick clean of the main living areas this is the kitchen and the living room for us. In the living room, we clear away any clutter and put anything we've been using away and wipe down the tables and surfaces with a multi-purpose spray. And that's pretty much the room done. The kitchen is a little hard. We put everything away and load the dishwasher and we turn it on so that it's ready to empty first thing in the morning. Next, we make sure that the kitchen surfaces are all clear and get to work on the most important part of the Fly Lady system, shining your sink. This is the very first thing that Fly Lady tells you to do. And I think the idea is that there is nothing worse than waking up to a pile of dirty dishes or a dirty sink. So she sees shining your sink as a gift to the future you. And that's pretty much the cleaning done. It's just a matter of making sure you're ready for the following day. This includes getting any meal prep done and packing your bags for the next day. She even suggests you lay out your clothes for the day. Fly Lady also suggests that you check your schedules for the next day and make sure you've had time to relax before bed. This routine really doesn't take too long to do, especially as there's two of us doing it. It's much shorter than the morning routine and we're usually done and getting ready for bed by between 9 and 9.30. So in general, the Fly Lady system is going well. I'm still finding it a little overwhelming because there is so much to do, but it has definitely kept the house cleaner than it has been in a long time. The morning and night routines are actually my favourite part because they really help keep on top of the clutter and it keeps your house looking clean. But that's it for our morning and night routines. I'd love to hear how your cleaning routine works and if you've tried the Fly Lady system too. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe for more videos about how we manage and plan our house and life. Bye bye!